What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a zone color scheme. Okay, so this is the continuation of what we have done last video in which we performed a heating and cooling loads analysis on this building and we have learned how to view the loads uh, report. So in this exercise, we are going to assign a color scheme to a zone in the building. So a color scheme allows you to communicate and identify parameters visually and spatially rather than by using space schedules or accessing element properties. Okay? So let's do this. So on our level 1 zoning load field, so we are going to assign a color scheme to this uh, uh, floor plan. So to do that, from the properties, let's look for the color scheme. As you can see, it's none. So just click that none button, and then it will now open the Edit Color Scheme dialog box. So from here, um, as you can see, the category is based on the spaces. So we're going to change that to HVAC zones. So just click that one, and then from the type here, we will be using co uh, cooling load by zone. So as you can see, if we click other types here, it changes the scheme definition there okay you can also create a new one or you can duplicate or you can even delete or rename your uh, color scheme anyway for this one I'm going to select cooling load by zone okay so the color is based on the calculated cooling loads okay and these are the properties you can change the color if you want but for now I will just select your OK to apply the color scheme. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, it's now applied to our floor plan. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in the legend. Okay, so how to put the cooling load by zone legend. So to do that, I'll go to the annotate tab. And then I'll just select here the color fill legend. So I'll click that one. And then I'm going to put it somewhere here. And then just select modify to terminate the tool. So notice that the cooling load is based on the tonnage volume in one ton uh, increments. So you want a scheme that allows for a greater tonnage range. So how to edit that? So let's... Uh, select a different color scheme legend. So let's edit the color. So I'm going to select the color scheme legend and then there is a tool here, edit scheme. So select that one. Okay. And then after that, so let's say for example, uh, instead of cooling load by zone, I want to select here tonnage range. So I click that one. And then you will notice the new scheme displays in our view. So it started with two tons. Okay. Right. So let us now uh, apply this one. So I select apply and then I'll just select here. Okay. And there you go. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom out to see our model now. So as you can see, the, the color is now based on that ton. Uh, ranges so the colors are updated in the plan view to match the new scheme type now the next thing that I'm gonna do is we're going to apply a color scheme to a section view okay so how to do that if you already have a section so you just open that section so in this exercise I already have the section 26 so I'm gonna double click that okay and then I want the color uh, scheme to be applied here so using the same method that we have learned previously so I'm going to add a cooling load by zone color scheme okay another way aside from going to the properties and selecting the color scheme here you can just go directly to the annotate and then you can click the color fill legend and then you can just uh, place it here beside and then just select here so let's say for example again it's uh, HVAC zones and then I'm going to use the cooling load by zone color scheme to the HVAC zones of my section view. So I just select OK. 
and there you go okay so that's how you do it again again if you want to edit this the color scheme legend so you can just uh, select that and then just click the edit scheme and then if you want to change the color just just click the color there and then you can select the color that you want or you can also change here the fill pattern as you can see all of the colors here is base or a solid fill pattern is applied so if you want to change that just click that click the drop down you can select any type of uh, fill pattern here okay right so i'll just select cancel here and there you go so that's our exercise so in this exercise uh, we have learned how to apply a color scheme to our zones in our building in our next video, we're going to create a schedule that we use as a design tool for the supply air system. So for now, thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.